Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Little Bits. Uh, today, after a long hiatus of making videos, I return with an Apple Watch SE unboxing. This is a watch I've been rocking since I damaged my last Series 4. Uh, I love this watch, but it's not an Apple Watch. So we got one because I need one and we're gonna unbox it. Now, this video will also serve as another channel update since it's been so long. Uh, I wanna thank this audience for your patience with the channel. We've all had hectic lives lately and I'm grateful for every one of you who shows an interest in my body of work. Um, I'll save the update portion for after the unboxing though. So let's get a look at this. Now, um, I need to censor some of the information on the back of this before I continue. So I will do that. I've already taken a picture of it for my own records. Uh, I meant to do it before I started recording this. So we'll do that now. All right, so let's unbox this sucker. No knife today, it should be a toolless opening. You see I centered that out. Can't find my phone, unless you manage to retrieve it through this ink somehow, in which case, uh, almost good on you, you know? Uh, please don't steal my money. Um, yeah, so we got the Apple Watch SE because, you know, it's a good affordable price. I have my, oh, I like that box, that's cool. That's pretty art, artsy fartsy, I like that, I like art. Um, but I got the Apple Watch SE instead of getting another Series 4 or, or the latest updates because uh, the Series 4 was sufficient for me. The only thing that uh, I was miss that's missing from this that I had on the Series 4 was the EKG. And I, I've never used, I've tinkered with it, but I've never had a reason to use it. So um, yeah, this is a 32 gigabytes of storage. It's the second gen and it is one gigabyte of RAM, I believe, uh, working memory, which is actually a lot for something like this. Um, yeah, and let's see what it looks like. This just lifts up. This is the band I got, the, uh, I think, Milanese loop. Uh, I actually was gonna go for a, I, I tend to prefer the smaller Apple Watches, the 40 millimeters in this, in this uh, model, but I went with the 44 because I've already tried to try on this loop with my Series 4 and it's just not big enough. But the 44 millimeter model is, and I'm sure I won't hate the extra screen real estate. I'm sure that won't bug me exactly too much. So let's get this, this open first. Um, no private information on there, that's good. So, toolless opening, knifeless opening, no uh, fingy risks today, hopefully. Boop, 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 boop. Now it's a little unfortunate that I did get the bigger model uh, because I do have a collection of bands that fit the smaller models, but um, they technically also fit this model. They just look a little wonky. Uh, my fiance has one that has a band stuck on it. So she is unfortunately unable to change that band. We have not been able to get it off for a while. So um, one day we'll upgrade her, her system too. And the series four that I'm talking about that broke, I will attempt to repair it one day, but it's so expensive to get the parts that it was just a better deal to buy a new watch, quite frankly. So, um, and you know, of course there's no guarantee that I will successfully repair it. Uh, but one day I'll repair it and rehome it or find someone to use it. But this is a beautiful band. I really like this a lot. So I haven't worn a metal band in a long time because the metal bands for the 40 millimeter models do not fit my wrist. So it's time to move up. Now we can set that aside. Okay, I had to do some quick censoring work on this one too because <laughs> I didn't realize there were multiple places where it's uh, identifying information uh, was displayed. But let's get this open now. We want to do that. And this wasn't here, that's part of my ink that I censored it with. Again, I took a picture. It's the same information that was on the outer side of the box, but I wanna make sure I got, got those for my record, I can retrieve them from the device itself in a menu as well if I need to. That's the, the IMEA number and um, whatever the other one is that allows them to identify the device on a cellular network. Um, gotcha. Yay. Wow, that's big. That's big. I've never worn a big one before. I have worn um, regular wristwatches like Invicta that are pretty chonky. They're, they're bigger and heavier than this, but um, like I said, I do usually tend to prefer, it's not much bigger than my current watch, so you know, it won't be much of a difference. It'll probably be a lot more comfortable. 
plus um, the calculator will be much more advanced. <laughs> Hopefully. Look, I tried to do it. I tried to turn off the screen. I'm already, I'm already getting ready to use this sucker. Um, all right, so let's put a band on it. We're not going to set it up on camera uh, because you know, I got personal stuff to do. I got to get the cell network set up, but I will probably come back and review it sometime a little later. Um, I have a good amount of context. I've used both the Series 3 and the Series 4 before. Uh, this is essentially an upgraded Series 4 with that missing EKG feature. Uh, and it's the second gen, so it's probably pretty high quality um, integrated circuitry in here because Apple has been really mastering that with their process, with their in-house processors uh, lately. So that's pretty good. USB-C for the charging unit. Um, I think they usually are at this point now. Uh, yeah, nicey tiesable. Let's get the wristwatch attached. How do I want this? The 12 or the six? If I want to loop it around like that, I think I want this way. Nope, that won't work because that'll be on the inside. So we want this way or this way. And you can put it on either way, whichever way is more comfortable for you. So I might try both ways. Um, having the clasp at 12 would be like this. Having the clasp at six would be like this. Uh, some people prefer one way or the other. I think 12 is traditional, uh, but we'll try it. Let's give it a go. First of all, let's take off my trusty Casio. Never had its battery changed and it's been, it's been my watch for two years. So it's a good, good little watch. I'll rehome it or modify it. I might modify it. Um, that in there just clicks in. It doesn't really click. It, it does secure itself. This little, if you haven't used them before, this little release here releases it. And that's the part that's stuck. Only one of them too on my fiance's watch, which is a series three. Um, all right, that's beautiful. And yes, it fits. I mean, I knew it what I tried it on in the store before. I, I just wish the smaller version of this band could get on my wrist. And boom, bickety bam. Let's turn it on. Maybe. It's probably in the documentation. There's only one button. Oh no, there's two buttons. There we go. All right. Now it'll come up with a little pretty artistic, but unique, like essentially a fancy uh, QR code that comes up and spins around. And I will use the Apple Watch app on my phone to pair it with the phone. Um, I do want you to see the, the little, their QR code style because it's quite cool looking. Bring a phone near the Apple Watch. Okay, I have. It's here. This is the phone I'm recording on. I want... Okay, so there's the little fancy, like 3D QR code that they post up during pairing. If you've never seen this before, it's pretty cool. Like it's it's essentially a QR code, but it's all animated and fancy looking. It's it's really fun. I think. Um, and uh, yeah, right. it looks like I do have to update my uh, iOS on this device before I can pair it with this new watch. So I'll do that shortly after this video. Um, we'll just watch this spin while I give an, a channel update now. So I know last time, last video I made was also a channel update, I believe. And, you know, I was trying to say, oh, after we move into this new home, we're going to, I'm going to try and focus on making more videos and things. Well, it didn't work out that way. You know, it's been a very hectic year and We've been getting incremental improvements to our surroundings such that we can live and work and, and do projects the way we want to. And I'm finally getting to a place where I can start doing things like making videos again, although the cadence is not going to be quick anytime soon, I think. Um, on that note, I've, you know, I've grown a lot in the last year and I've learned a lot about myself and how I want to live. I've been reconnecting with my faith, which I won't talk about now. And cultivating a psychedelic worldview, really, which is a big part of my my the core of my being, is is 
psychedelics. So uh, if you don't know that about me, you do now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it. I, I have come to believe, and I've kind of always believed that all things are connected, and technology can be used to explore the mysteries of life and the universe and things like that. And that's what I do with technology. Um, this leads me to some ideas for the channel and how I want to expand it. I still want to post the normal stuff, unboxing videos, soldering vi videos. Uh, there are some types that I have yet to tackle that I've wanted to before, like calculator game let's plays, for example, or software dev stuff that I haven't really dug into very deeply, especially for, um, you know, my soldering projects that, you know, we, I haven't covered a lot of the software side of that yet. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I want to share more about how I live and how I incorporate tech into my life specifically. Uh, now, you see, technology has become sort of synonymous with electronics, but we are surrounded by technology daily of many kinds. And, um, you know, the, the very fact that I have glasses on my face is enough to qualify me as a cyborg in the strictest definition of the word. So if you have glasses, you're already a cyborg. You're already a technologically enhanced being, right? And I kind of feel the same about everything that we've developed as a, as a species, whether it's housing or computers or uh, plumbing or any of that stuff. These are all technologies that extend our ability to uh, interact and command the world around us, interact with and command the world around us. So, you know, it's, it's more than just electronics that I'm interested in. And Everything that I do with electronics ties into the foundation of my life and how I live my life. It's, it's really connected to everything I do. Electronics is just one important part of that, that component for me. So I want to move forward and share more about my life. I want to share a little bit more. I'll tell you a little bit about my gardening and mycology projects. I'll tell you a little bit about my faith and meditative practices. I'll put warnings on those in case you don't want to hear it. Uh, it's very non-standard. I am not a Christian. I'm going to put that out there right now. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my cooking and my skating and my other hobbies and crafts, you know, because skates are, skates are technologies. Cooking is a process that is empowered by technologies, you know, and uh, some of it's electronic, some of it's not. And you can enhance any of these technologies with electronics, you know. Um, Anyway, uh, the idea is that I want to really explore all the technologies that I engage with, even the non-electrical ones. I'm hoping that this approach will get me filming more footage and inspire me to build a habit of video production. A big part of what's been stopping me there is just, again, space, just like the last house. We have a lot more space here but we've only been sort of getting all of our objects into homes that allow us to use them effectively um, in the space that we have. And it's been incremental improvements throughout the year, and we're really doing well on that front. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about some of the things I've gone through mental health-wise. So uh, those of you who, some of you may know uh, me already, I may have said this in other videos, or you may know me personally, and you know this about me, but I have Tourette syndrome. And I've had to, I've known I've had Tourette syndrome since I was 18, but only this year I discovered I also have OCD. In fact, I have a very kind of difficult to spot form of OCD called Tourettic OCD, which is the, the way that compulsions are triggered is a little bit different than in traditional to OCD. So it's, it's harder to spot and uh, it explains why it took me 37 years to figure it out. So um, I recently, you know, found a psychologist who is a, an expert specialist in both Tourette's and OCD, and she gave me the push I need to try Prozac, generic Prozac called fluoxetine, same, same chemical. Um, and it has been life-changing for me. I am operating at my full mental capacity for the first time in my life, probably. I used to get violent or sexual or disturbing intrusive images on a daily basis throughout the day. All these shooting events that happen in the country, they would trigger violent images of my family being killed in their workplaces. And I would be trying to work on my job, you know, throughout the day. And these images would just be bombarding me, bombarding me, bombarding me. And uh, the fluoxetine has completely removed them. I've had one intrusive thought 
in all of September. And it was on a day when I had forgotten to take my medicine the day before. And like I said, it used to be all day and all day torture every day. So, you know, it's, it's really opened up a lot of possibilities and opportunities for me that I've got on this medicine and it's working well for me. Um, I also, uh, as in line with the psychedelic lifestyle, I do engage with a lot of plant medicines and mushroom medicines of various types and various effects, if you will. Uh, they have been an incredibly empowering tool in my mental health arsenal, and I would like to share some thoughts on those. It's a bit of a dicey subject for YouTube, and it's a bit of a dicey subject for Texas, where I live, where it still is could get me in very much a lot of trouble. So I will probably keep that to a minimum unless and until the laws change. Um, but yeah, my mental health is at a state that is more well-balanced than it has ever been in my entire life. So I'm hoping that will lead me to completing more projects. I'm really getting good at carving out time and using that time well and getting more done in less time, both professionally and personally. So, uh, regardless of what my, my video release cadence looks like moving forward, know that I'm, I'm doing better than I ever have. And hopefully that will lead to more videos. Uh, uh, I do want to talk a little bit about monetization. Monetization. I am getting to a point where it won't be much longer, maybe sometime late next year, where I've got the prerequisites I need to monetize the channel. I will probably turn that on when I can. I'll experiment with it. If it doesn't work out well, if I don't like how it does, how it works, if I don't like the ads I'm seeing on the platform, if I see PragerU ads on the platform, I am going to you know, turn it off or whatever. I, I don't really need to monetize the channel to supplement my income, but it, it would be nice to have supplemented income on top of my daily DevOps pay. Uh, furthermore, um, I want to mention, I had one commenter on one video tell me people aren't in between in regards to my welcome ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. And if you're that person, go away. Don't talk on my channel. I'm going to remove your comment. The fact of the matter is that you don't understand enough about biology to understand that. As a matter of fact, yes, a lot of people are in between. Hermaphroditism exists and transgendered people have been a part of the human culture for as long as humans have lived on this planet. And so if you're here to leave transphobic, com transphobic comments on my videos, you are not welcome here. You can get fucked. Go fuck yourself. All right. And last but not least, shout out to Taryn. Yo dog, what's up? You know, I heard about Crossfire. You'll get caught up in it. Uh, if I haven't reached out reached out to you before this video is posted, uh, expect me to reach out soon to catch up a little bit, buddy. I miss you. I hope everything's going well. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I look forward to producing more content, uh, hopefully throughout the next few years. So see you then. Peace.